Hey everyone, welcome to another video view. This is the Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition. Number zero two, Barricade. You know, he has the war version from the War for Cybertron game from over a decade ago now, which makes you feel probably a little old. You see the figure there in front of the box. We'll go ahead and look, take a look at that. Yeah, the box here, you got, you know, it's the render, uh, actually not render, but the um, old artwork. I remember this from, of Barricade, you know, Studio Series. Nice silvery Gamer Edition of the GE and, you know, all that stuff and the, War for Cybertron logo and the cut on Transformers. Up here you have the War for Cybertron with a little uh, cardboard hook thing. On this side you have a close-up of Barricade again with Studio Series and Ducks Class. On this side you have Barricade and a little, hey, look, a D-pad because it's Gamer Edition. Haha, -ha, and plastic-free packaging. Authentic. Down here you have what's included and who owns it and everything. And, of course, on the back you have product shots, warnings, and copyrights. And Barricade assists in the mission to locate an ancient power called Dark Energon. <laughs> and, of course, yeah, the backdrop, which is in this box, of course. It is one of the many locales in the game. That's an actual, I think that's a screenshot. It's a high resolution, the front of level that is. It's been a bit since I've played it. But yeah, of course, you got that backdrop. And of course, got Barricade right there. And, you know, that's all the actual whole thing there. And of course, of course, do what I do, which is recycle the fake, which is recycle the box and everything. There's also the instructions, which are pretty straightforward for the most part. Although, um, how he comes in the box kind of threw me off for a second. But anyway. Barricade. So Barricade did not get a toy back in the day. In fact, most of the characters in that game didn't get a toy. For War for Cybertron didn't get a toy because it was uh, it was Optimus, Bumblebee, Megatron, Soundwave, Cliff Jumper, and I think there was a Sound Blaster. There was a Nemesis Prime. There was a repaint of Megatron. I think there might have been a Sound Blaster, but I'm not 100% certain on that one. But there was a Nemesis Prime in Japan. There was not a whole lot of these things. But anyway, this is Barricade. He finally gets a toy, and um, hmm, yeah. Yeah, getting up close here, you can see, you know, nice to be picked out head sculpted. He's got his got a black helmet with the yellow eyes. Very nicely done, yellow eyes and gray face. You got the black and silver and purple with the Decepticon thing. They got the little weird uh, rigid detail. It's actually rigid, which actually looks pretty cool. You got this gray with some uh, little lines there. You got the gray and the, yeah, the, these are the big old wheels right here. The thing is, you can see right there, they're kind of the cool, uh, definitely not earth tread patterns and stuff. But yeah, you got the big old, you know, the big old diamond knee plates in the gray here and the big old... Well, let's be real. There's a kind of clown feet looking things. And you got kinds of bits of kibble back here. You got some bits of the car back here and more of the car. Although it does have that little vent thing right there. And yeah, there's a lot back there. And the wheels, unfortunately, do not have purple on them. No doubt retro, um, Repo Labels is going to do something. Or not Repo Labels, Toy Hacks now. But yeah, they're probably going to do something about that uh, shortly. But yeah, Barricade here is... He's a very bulky deluxe, but also... Um, uh, my big thing here about this one is it's really difficult to get him to stand. He has like, you can see that because I have him kind of slightly tilted forward. There's this like sweet spot I found. If I tilt him forward, it's like he will stand. But because I thought these might come down enough to be like heels, but they don't. So that's the problem is he doesn't really have heels. So when you put him down, it doesn't take much to tip him over. Really takes not, not a lot. So people complain about it. You can see he's actually leaning forward on my um, table right now. I got him standing a little bit, but it doesn't take much to knock him over, which is unfortunate. Also, yeah, the, it's one of those things where, unfortunately, the game just had to cheat to make the, the Transformers work. And good luck getting that cheating game to translate into actual plastic toys without cheating yourself. So, yeah, you get stuff like, yeah, the bits of the car right here on the hips, which are really in the way and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it, it looks okay. But yeah, those feet really put let it down. Yeah, so that's a little bit of a disappointment. Again, the backpack right there. Um, he does have a gun, which, you know, it's a nice little black gun. And it actually is, you know, one of the ones from the game. And the really cool thing is, one, well, you can store it back here. You know, there's a, a slot here and you could, there's a tab on the gun. So you can just, you know, store it back here on the back if you want, like that. But, of course... In the game, you notice there is no actual handle in this. In the game, they transform their arms and the gun. So they did that, facilitate that with these new toys. But you can, well, unpeg the arm here and peg on the gun, which is really cool. It's not quite a five, might look, you might go, oh, that's five millimeter. No, it's not quite. It's a kind of a different, a lot of them are different in that they have like a flattened spot or something to kind of, uh, I guess, key them, I guess. So you can't just attach any old five millimeter thing. But, uh, yeah, he's got the gun, which looks a little weedy, but it was one of the weedier guns. And unfortunately, when you take the arm off, there's nowhere to put it. Tab right here, which you kind of, which you can. But you can see some people reported success, but it's 
mode. This is for transformation. And it's kind of weirdly keyed. So if you try to tab it in, it doesn't really work. It just kind of wants to push itself back out. Some people have reported success with it though. So, uh, eh. The other thing on mine, this arm is stupid loose because I don't know how you can see that, but yeah, there's stress marks all over the inside of that uh, hole right there. I have no idea what happened. I just know this arm likes to come off like crazy. And it's really frustrating because I can't move it without the arm coming off. And you need to move it to transform it. So that's, that in itself is really frustrating in that, that how that uh, works. So yeah, posability, his head is on a ball joint. So you do have left and right, although mine is very tight. And also the backpack is in the way of my fingers. Uh, yeah, very tight. You got a little bit of up. You got a little bit of down. I think there's a second like joint in there, but yeah, there's a little bit of posability, but my mind is tight. And you can see that also comes off too, which is a little frustrating. But uh, shoulders are also on ball joints. They're somewhat hindered by the backpack, but they can do a 360. They can go outward a little bit. There is a bicep swivel right there. There is an elbow, though it's kind of limited because of the shape of everything. The, the, the fist is actually, the hand is actually ball jointed. You can see that it is actually ball jointed, but unfortunately because of this panel, it's really, you, you can't really rotate it this way because the thumb will get in the way. You can rotate it outward and wiggle a little bit, but there's not a whole, a whole lot there. And on this one, because of the, uh, this 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 uh, particular joint, the spice of swivel on this arm is so ridiculously tight on mine. I've been trying to loosen it, but it is not uh, playing along. I'm trying to get loosened. I think that might be contributing to why the uh, arm is so loose. But um, there is a waist joint. The things that, yeah, the, the wheels start banging and stuff. Uh, hips can go forward, um, well, that far if you get them angled out a little bit. Actually, a little bit further than that. Actually, a lot further than that. Uh, backwards, you get that much. Outward, you have that much. There's really not a whole lot there. There is a thigh swivel, though, which is nice. Knees, you don't really get a whole lot there either. Um, you get that much. It's, it's hard to see. It's kind of hard to see, but there's really... Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot of bend there, unfortunately. Um, yeah, this people kind of resorted to, like, leaving these tabbed in and stuff because, they you know, it kind of... Some people find that looks better, you know, if they leave it tabbed in, like, or whatever. I'm just not going to tab it quite at me. I see that. Some people argue that looks better. I'm not exactly disagreeing, but, yeah, it's, it is supposed to be up here like this. Just, just an FYI on that. So there's that. At the feet, there are no ankle tilts. That's the other thing. It's sculpted for an A stance, but there are no ankle tilts. You have that, but that's for transformation. And well, but you kind of need that though, because well, you need to kind of lean him forward sometimes just to get him to stay standing. So yeah, that's, that's, it's, he's just kind of, uh, there's a lot of frustration dealing with this guy, but I guess comparisons real quick. Only one really, because more for Cybertron didn't have a whole lot. Or two, I'm going to go, Something more modern as well, but um, here's United Soundwave. Yeah, it's the United version, but you know, the only difference is chrome paint versus, yeah, gloss. About the same height, actually. He's kind of bulkier, but he's very lithe and everything. And yeah, um, he's very yeah, he's very skinny comparatively. He's very feels very bulkier. So there you go on that. And just because modern toy, here's a Earthrise Prime, just to give you an idea there. Something more modern. Yeah. That's robot mode. So vehicle mode. First, you want to take that and unplug that and put the uh, arm back on. Like that. Get that out of the way. Now, first thing here, what you want to do is actually take the feet and fold those up. They'll tab into the shins. Go ahead and rotate the waist 180 degrees like so. Take these pieces and we'll take these pieces and rotate them around like this and bring them up and they will tab into the side right there like that and rotate this around tab this in the side right here like that take these pieces and then bring them up like so bring them up like that in the right position and then take all this and peg and tab it all together like that have that fall off again so at this point i think that it's actually i might have to fill this with like some uh, floor polish just to get it to hold or something. But anyway, um, take this, open this up. You're going to have to rotate the fist. I've noticed if you don't rotate the fist, it doesn't fit in properly. So rotate the fist 180 and then 
close it up in there and then close that up and then rotate this at the bicep 180 so it lines up like that same thing on this side open, open that up take the fist and rotate it 180 degrees bring it up in there and close that up take this and you're supposed to also this the bicep is supposed to rotate i'm going to try to do that yeah, rotate the bicep 180 degrees as well come on you can do it it's not rotating okay rotate that there we go and then yeah, rotate that and if hopefully it works better on yours than it does on mine so rotate that and then here at the arms you want to take these there's a joint right here you want to bring that down and uh bring this in and this will tab into the side here and this there's a tab here which will go into a slot right there like that just bring that in same thing bring that bring that down and in tab that in like so and then take the backpack here and un unpeg it from the back and bring this up and this will actually click you'll hear it click into place like that and then bring this up and over and this these pieces will slot in under here on the gray pieces and these will kind of tab in there's little tabs in there too so just they'll bring in these will this will kind of all integrate and everything and hopefully that and bring that up like that and there you go that is barricades car mode so yeah, that's uh, that's Barricade's car, which is, this is actually a really good looking car, actually. Um, this is very close to what it was in the game and everything. I do like how this is overall. The car mode is way better than the uh, than the robot mode, for sure. Uh, the, it just looks generally nicer, although mine has a bit of a weird paint splotch right there, unfortunately. Uh, the Decepticon symbol in mine is pretty much aligned. There have been some reports of misaligned Decepticon symbols there. And again, you got the nice textured uh, purple right there for the headlights the textured purple here you got some yeah, all that stuff looks real nice you got the end course this looks almost like well it almost looks batmobile-esque at times which is real cool the wheels do you know it does roll although the wheels do have a bit more friction than i thought i think like but uh oh yeah make sure to make sure, make sure that's pushed up so yeah it rolls pretty well it's got the cool little uh mean like brush guard thing or whatever you want to call it this looks real nice and you got the yellow too right there which almost looks i guess it's supposed to be kind of the eyes of sorts because yeah it is a bit shell ish i mean there is some integration but like all of this like this and all of that is all shell that goes somewhere behind the robot same with this stuff right here so you know that's a thing to be mindful of and of course the gun here there's a square peg which can go right here you know for i guess attack mode and of course unfortunately there's no way to uh, fold these i wish there was a way but i can see why it'd be difficult to engineer that with a deluxe price point and everything but oh well still this is this is a really nice uh car mode it's just a shame that the uh robot mode is kind of fit, uh, it's such a blech, you know so is that we have a quick comparison though here's the um united sound wave which yep yeah, Compacts a lot more, that's for sure. Barricade almost seems like he expands out versus, yeah, Soundwave here kind of compresses. So, uh, there you go. That's a comparison there. So, yeah, the thing about Barricade is he's got a nice alt mode, but the robot mode is just kind of limited articulation. It's clunky looking. It's kind of clunky looking. Limited articulation. I mind the arm likes to fall off. It's a lot of kibble just hanging off him. It just, I was just disappointed when I got my, he showed up. I was just like, uh, oh, he's kind of, eh. So honestly, I can't really recommend this one as much. It kind of sucks. because This is the first time the WC barricade got a toy. And just kind of things I have to say, yeah, just skip it. It's really, unless you really, really want this one, unless you really want it for whatever reason, I would say skip it. And honestly, even if you really are, really want to just wait for it to go on sale or something, it's not a great toy. It's kind of, of the three that we've gotten so far for War for Cybertron, he is the worst, for sure. No question, he is the worst one. Just skip him. The alt mode's not worth it. <laughs> 
So uh, that's it for this one. I hope you found it informative, entertaining. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Twitter at Nemesis Prime One. Check out my co-host co-host.org/slash Nemesis Prime. Check out my coffee, my Patreon, and I'll see you next time with another video review.